Did you know a truly American drink has Persian origins, was used as both a medicine, and serves as the official drink of a horse race? Here's a brief history of the mint julep cocktail. What you need for a mint julep cocktail is six centiliters of bourbon, four mint leaves, one teaspoon of powdered sugar, and two teaspoons of water. Add crushed ice and stir until you get frost all over the iconic mint julep cup. However, that's not how this cocktail has always been enjoyed throughout history. The word julep comes from the Persian word golab, which means rose water. It was a distillate of rose petals, a side effect of making perfume, and was extremely popular in the Mediterranean, centuries before the New World made its own boozy version. The mint julep has its origins in the 18th century, most likely in Virginia, where they used it to cure sickness. The Virginian farmers also drank it instead of coffee, using rum as the base. When the cocktail finally reached Kentucky, people obviously started using bourbon to prepare it. The drink took off in 1877 when the Kentucky Derby hosted the famous Polish actress Helena Majeska. She received a cup of mint julep that was supposed to be passed around, but she never let go of it. Instead, she kept ordering more. Today, we generally associate the mint julep with the Kentucky Derby, the annual horse race held in Louisville nonstop since 1875. It's been the official drink since 1938 and over 100,000 cups of it are guzzled each year. You can even get a fancy thousand dollar one with mint from Ireland, ice from the Bavarian Alps, and sugar from Australia. Before you pick up a pitchfork to protest this capitalist absurdity, you should know that the proceeds from that luxury version are donated to horse charities. This cocktail has garnered famous fans over the years. From President Teddy Roosevelt, who would use rye whiskey instead of bourbon, to famed writer Ernest Hemingway, who once smashed a mint julep against the wall of a bar in France because it was poorly made. No matter how famous you are though, make sure you hold the cup at the top and let the frost form. And always bet on the horse with the funniest name. <laughs>